Spectre Console allows you to turn your C Sharp Console apps into visually appealing, informative applications. In this series of videos, we are learning how to take full advantage of this library in 10 minute chunks. The source code is available as a link in the description. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to add emojis to our console output. If you like this series, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and visit imtimcorey.com for more training resources. Let's get started. Now I included here a URL to the list of emojis and more documentation for how to use these emojis. Because there's three different ways to really use these emojis. We're going to go over all three, but two of them include just knowing the actual string of what the emoji should be. I'll show you. ANSI console dot markup line. And we're going to say, um, I like and colon baseball colon. That's an emoji and colon American underscore football. And yes, these are strings you have to understand and know how to actually type it out. You can't mistype these, but if we do it right and you run this, then we're going to see that I like baseball and football. And we can see that it substituted the emoji for the actual words that I used. So the markup line identifies those colons as a, a start and end of an emoji and it looks up the emoji. And if it finds one, well, then it's going to list it, which is an important factor here because if I just said football and not American football, then what do you think is going to happen? Well, it's going to fall back to just the text, which means, you know, it doesn't look that great, but we now know that we're missing. Um, we don't have the right emoji text for that particular um, emoji. Okay. That's one way of doing things. Another way of doing things is we could say ANSI console dot right line or whatever, but we're going to use right line for this example. Hello, and we're going to say emoji dot known dot, and you can see the, the whole list, but we're going to choose world map because hello world, right? And so using this, we can see the list of emojis, which is rather helpful because now it still shows as an emoji, but it was easier to look up. Now, why would you ever use this way when that's so easy to look up? Well, because this way easily goes into a database. And in fact, let's talk about simulating coming from a database. So string display text equals, um, I am totally normal. And then we're going to do colon zany face under, zany underscore face colon. And we'll do a, uh, a new line at the end, just so we can, but also because I like to put new lines at the end. And I'm going to say ANSI console dot write, and we'll say display text, but that's not going to actually write the correct information. So if we run this, we're going to see that it just puts zany face there. It doesn't actually put our emoji. How do you fix that? Well, what we need to do is say emoji dot replace and then display text. And that will create for us a string that takes our emoji and turns it into an actual um, emoji in its spot. So once we have that in place, we can run this. And now we can see I am totally normal and have the zany face at the end to kind of belie our, our statement. So that's how we use emojis inside of Spectre Console. Now there's other emojis in other places, for example, some of the spinners use emojis. There's a, a spinner for, I think it's called weather that will go from a sunny day all the way to cloudy and rainy day and then back and forth. So there's some fun stuff you can do with emojis, but I do want to point out if I run this from the windows console or from the visual studio console, this is what I get. So what it's saying is I don't know how to handle the, uh, the Unicode characters that are our emojis. It's, not able to process those. Therefore, it just puts question marks in their place. This is why you need to be careful about how you use emojis. They're great and they can really spice up your console, but you have to make sure that they are not the only way you communicate because I like question mark and question mark leaves me with 
questions. Um, I don't know what I like then because it's not actually specifying. If I said baseball and put a baseball next to it and said football and put a football next to it, well, then it wouldn't be quite as jarring to, to see a question mark because it would still say I like football and baseball or baseball and football. So be careful how you use these emojis because not every shell, not every um, terminal will support emojis. So there's also more information on this link about which emojis to use and which ones are more safe than others. So you might want to check that out as well. But that's how you use emojis in your console in Spectre Console. Thanks for watching. And as always, I am Tim Corey.